Hi, Jonathan from Bags Wine Tasting, back again tasting yet more wine in the attic. <laughs> and today I have got Brazen Lodi's Old Vine Zin, Zinfandel. Let's give it a whirl. So, those of you that may be somewhat confused by Zinfandel, looking a bit red, <laughs> uh, will of course be thinking about white Zinfandel or the rosé. A bit more on that a little bit later. Uh, but what we've got here is of course the Zinfandel grape variety as it is expected to be, originally was, certainly in Italy, Primitivo. Um, and it was exported like all great varieties are um, around the world in that age of exploration. And Zimbindel is a great variety that was really uh, latched on uh, in the USA uh, because of it not needing to be trellised um, and, and, and being in a bush vine, which leads in quite nicely to the old vines that we have here in excess of 40 years old. So uh, let's give it a little taste first of all. As a, a very, very brooding, deep ruby colour. Vintage is 2019. So there's somewhat of a, you know, a few years on there. The nose is very, very complex, actually. There's a, there's a lot of dark fruit character going on, but there's a lot of secondary characteristics as well. Maybe it's just a, the hint of something tertiary going on as well, just a sign of what might come in the future. Fruit-wise, we've got black fruits, we've got black currants, brambles, definitely some black cherry coming through as well, kind of right, like really brooding under the surface. Seed is really strong, a little bit of vanilla spice, earthiness, smokiness, and what is really, really nice actually is that kind of cocoa, mocha, coffee kind of combination going on as well, which is really, really pleasant for this wine. This is a heavy hitter. It's quite powerful, but also really refined. The tannins, really rounded, really smooth, very, very well integrated, gives a great perception of, of height and body, finish, the flavours of the black fruits, that, those black forest fruits, that black cherry in particular, really lingers. There's a nice licorice finish to this wine. Um, this, is, this is quite a special drop, I would say. Um, going back full circle, to the misconceptions of Zinfandel only being a rosé. Zinfandel is a great variety, home in the south of Italy, in particular Puglia, say called Primitivo there, is always produced as a red wine, as a big red wine. And, and that was the case in California as well, when it was taken over there. And what happened, as so the story goes in shutter homes, uh, this, this one harvest where um, things went quite awry and for unknown reasons, perhaps because the temperature dropped, but the fermentation in, in the vast majority of the casks did not complete. So the wines still had um, residual sugar, an element of sweetness to them. And because it affected so many of the barrels, uh, the makers had to do something with the wine. So they, 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 they rolled their casks out to the market, so to speak. And actually, the wines were quite well received, it was, you know, quite refreshing. And so they, the wines were perfected and produced into a, a lighter extraction, rosé, lower alcohol, sweeter style of wine. And so white Zinfandel was born. But if you want to find out and dig a, dig a little deeper into the origins of Zinfandel, then I would definitely say Brazen's is a fantastic starting point. So cheers. <laughs> 